February 5th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start with spaceweather.com tonight. Ah, geomagnetic storm. A solar wind stream hit Earth's magnetic field during the late hours of February 4th, sparking a G2 class KP-6 geomagnetic storm in progress. Uh, current conditions, solar wind speed 625.5 kilometers per second. The space wind is howling. So let's go to the extinction protocol. Uh, we have a bird kill. Hundreds of sparrows fall dead in Rotorua, New Zealand. Uh, what killed hundreds of dead birds found in Rotorua Central City Street? Nobody seems to know. Story below. Freak tornado outbreak decimates town in the Philippines. Seven people died. Cotabato City, Philippines. Hundreds of people were rendered homeless when two freak tornadoes and flash floods hit the coastal town of Jolo. Uh, in the island province of Sulu Thursday evening. Five days of continuous rains triggered flash floods that hit towns, residential areas, major streets, and even the local market, according to the Catholic priest. And uh, that story goes on. There are uh, non-stop problems in the Philippines all summer for them. Untold thousands of marine animals float dead in the Amazon River and Florida. Uh, the Amazon region da, da, da. just all kinds of fish even stingrays are floating dead in uh, Rio de Janeiro one of the largest of uh, Amazon River Basin and several tons of fish have died and then in Florida, Sebastian, Florida, thousands of fish have washed up on Sebastian Inlet State Park, according to the WPBF, uh, your local Giselle. They're believing lack of oxygen is what killed the bait fish. And Mount Meripai in, the, in Indonesia, Indonesia's most active volcano, has spewed thick white smoke. Uh... So Vatera, these past few days, the Agency of Volcanology, Technology, Research, and Development said in a statement, um, Yogi Atara should remain calm upon dealing with the incident. Smoke and ash are obvious from the morning post. However, the volcano will not erupt its hot clouds in no time. Well, it's definitely a translated piece, but Mount Maripai is uh, acting up again, and uh, that's not uncommon. 6.4 earthquake in the Miramar, India border region, and that was the big quake today. Here's a big story. U.S. energy grids buckle under strain of record cold wave. Now, this cold wave is expected to continue into the deep south through next week. Albuquerque, New Mexico, with tens of thousands of people across New Mexico without natural gas service. As I put out that video last night, Governor Susana Martinez on Thursday declared a state of emergency, ordered government officials to be shut down Friday, and urged schools to strongly consider remaining closed for the day. Demand has soared because of extremely cold weather across the state since Tuesday. A New Mexico's gas company said rolling blackouts in West Texas also impeded the delivery of natural gas to New Mexico. But they got power for the Super Bowl, don't they? Rolling blackouts, my ass. Um, Shear later announced the state operations provide critical services would not be closed Friday due to decreased strain in energy resources throughout New Mexico. Due to the statewide national natural gas shortages I have ordered all government agencies that do not provide essential services to shut down and all non-essential employees to stay home on Friday so the, New Mexico is still and like I said this cold snap is just going to continue I just watched the weather channel uh, they're expecting low temperatures in through next week 
Uh, we have a pod of pilot whales beach themselves on the shores of New Zealand. Uh, I believe there's 64 of them. About 30 whales were stranded and a number grew through the afternoon. About 100 Department of uh, Staff. Da -da -da. Or they got a hundred people out there trying to... More than 120 whales died in two separate beachings. Uh, volcanic hell. Japan entering new stage of geological upheaval. Um, and again, the Japanese volcano just keeps erupting again today. Uh, the volcanic firestorm erupting across Japan is one more sign like Iceland recent volcanic unrest that the planetary is now heading towards a global upheaval. Well, this is part of their fear piece. And over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. Uh, they have the volcano story. Um, Japan's southern island of Kyushu erupted again as the government said it would, would send officials in the area to help local authorities create an evacuation plan. Uh, this volcano is still going. Snow hits Mexico border town. Unusually cold weather hit most northern Mexican state of Chihuahua on Wednesday, bringing temperatures of 8 degrees Fahrenheit to the region. That's a little cold, don't you think? And they've got a story about whales appearing in New York Harbor in greater numbers. And then they've got this story, more strange behavior, 100,000 sharks off of Florida Beach. Um, this migration happens, the hammerheads, um, mate, or breed, just off the west coast of Florida every year. Just tens of thousands of hammerhead sharks, it's crazy. And then they've got the thunder snow story. And, uh, 2010, a bad year of natural disasters, say insurance companies. They ain't seen nothing yet. And then, of course, um, the Australia supercell thunderstorm pounds Victoria. Um, Yazi's still putting out her thing, even though she's not official anymore. Dun, dun, dun. And there was one story that uh, the other two didn't cover today on UB Alert or uh, Disaster. Now is a flash flood, Middle East, Iran. At least five people have been killed as a result of flash floods that have inundated parts of Iran's southern promise province of Kerman. Um, and they're saying floods are widespread in this area and uh, uh, they're destroying the livestock. And uh, this apparently this area, their ag agriculture region has just been decimated by like, uh, where did it say? Uh, reports also indicate that the latest flooding has left trails of destruction and taken heavy toll on cattle. Floods in Kerman come after 13 years of drought, which has severely damaged the province's agricultural index over the past years. So they're going from uh, drought to flood. And that is about it for today. And again, if I missed anything, please let me know in the comment block below. Um, if not, enjoy while you can. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.